Now, verse 23 is one of the great verses of the book of Proverbs. Keep thy heart above all keeping. That is the one translation that, and I notice that I every now and then revert to another. Keep thy heart with all diligence, above all keeping. This is the one thing you're to do, for out of it are the issues of life. The life of the flesh is in the blood, and it's the heart that pumps that blood. And you remember it wasn't until Harvey, back in the 18th century, he was taking a bath. And that's when he discovered the circulation of the blood. And that revolutionized medical science. And here, in the book of Proverbs, it's just very calmly taken for granted. That which revolutionized medical science. Keep thy heart above all you're keeping, for out of it are the issues of life. And the Lord Jesus said, it isn't what goes into a man that defiles him. It's what comes out of the man. And then he said, out of the heart. And the Lord gave the list of the things that come out of the heart. I tell you, some of the meanest things in the world can come out of the human heart. The heart is the seat of the total personality. You want to know how important the heart is? You ought to get a concordance and look up in the Bible the references that there are to the heart. And it was Harvey that made that discovery that the blood circulates. And we're told in that apocryphal book, the Epistle of Barnabas, it tells about a mythical phoenix, a bird that consumes itself by fire and rises in resurrection. May I say to you, that is as phony a statement as it was ever made. But that's not in the Bible. That's in Greek mythology. But here's a statement that's made here, and science has demonstrated it, that it's true. And in the book of Proverbs, friends, they bear no unscientific statement or inaccurate observation. What a wonderful statement this is here. And believe me, out of our heart, and we're to keep our hearts with all diligence. It's important what you hear. It's important what you study. It's important what you see. Because I tell you, this heart that you and I got, it just can't be trusted. And we need to recognize that out of that heart will come all of the great issues of our life. Now he goes on to say, put away from thee a froward mouth, perverse lips, put far from thee. Now, you see, it's the heart that these things come out of. But it's the mouth and the lips that'll do the speaking. Somebody has put it like this, that what is in the well of the heart will come up through the bucket of the mouth. And how true that is, because sooner or later, the mouth is going to give you away. The mouth tells where you're from, what section of the country that you're from. And it certainly gives you away. I was riding on the train. And this was a very lovely thing that happened. And I went in for breakfast in the morning. And I was glad to get back to train travel. It was such a thrill to me. And I was just sitting there looking at the scenery. We were going over by Flagstaff, Arizona. And they had had a late spring snow. Oh, it was so pretty. And I was sitting there looking at it. Now, that's the way I wanted to take it. I wouldn't want to be out in it. But just to sit there and look out at it. So lovely, so pretty. And the steward there in charge of the dining room, he leaned down to me. He says, some friends of yours, your students across the way here want to pay for your breakfast. Isn't that a lovely thing to do? And I looked over there and these folk, a lovely couple, were smiling at me. And so I got up and went over and shook hands with them, found out they listened to our radio program, and I began to talk to them. And I noticed another couple back of them were very much interested. And so a little later, they met me in the lounge, and they said to me, you're Dr. McGee? And I said, yes. Well, they said, we recognize that voice. We listen to you in Peoria, Illinois. And my, you know that we found two or three there. And the thing that gave me away is my mouth. It just told who I am. 
You can't obscure things like that out of the mouth. And we need to be careful what comes out of the mouth. Miss McGee and I were way up in the northwest, in a little town. We just went in to sit down and have lunch. And we were talking, and we noticed the waitress was very much interested. And finally, she just butted right in. She says, aren't you Dr. McGee? And I said, yes. And I said, how'd you know me? Well, she said, I had never seen you before, but I listened to you on the radio. And my wife said to me afterwards, says, you sure better be careful what you say because you are recognized sometimes when you don't think you're being recognized. Out of the heart, these things are going to come up through the bucket of the mouth, and the mouth just gives us away who we are, tells all about us. Now, he says, here's something about the eyes. Verse 25, let thine eyes look right on. (laughs) Let thine eyelids look straight before thee. Ponder the path of thy feet, and let all thy ways be established. Turn not to the right hand, nor to the left. Remove thy foot from evil. That's one thing the young man in life is to do. Ruin your career. A man told me, he says, as a young man, I ruined my life by having an arrest and I have a record, and he says, you know, that thing confronts me again and again, and it has in this life. Ah, how careful a young man.